The Living Gun Item Number SCP-127 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-127 is considered no more dangerous than a normal firearm of its type. However, due to its extraordinary properties, it is to be held in Weapons Locker 7C when not in use, and suspended in water rich in calcium and protein. At this time, only the research team assigned to SCP-127 has clearance to access it. Description SCP-127, upon first glance, appears to be a standard MP5K submachine gun. Tests have revealed that aside from the outer steel shell, the entirety of the firearm is organic and alive. The weapon's ammunition initially appeared to be human-like teeth. However, DNA testing of the bullets resulted in no known match to any known species on Earth. SCP-127 features two settings, semi-automatic and fully automatic. An audible groan can be heard when switching between the two. Upon depleting the weapon's magazine, typically 60 shots, it takes between 3 to 5 days to regrow a new supply of ammunition. Attempts to remove the magazine have resulted in failure. It seems to be permanently attached to the weapon. SCP-127 does not seem capable of reproduction at this time. Scans have shown no apparent reproductive organs, and requires no sustenance beyond water, calcium, and protein. SCP-127 was originally located in the house of a Mr. James Blank. Mr. Blank was found dead from a heart attack on the night of November 17th, 1991. Coroner's reports state that Mr. Blank died sometime in the morning of November 8th, but was not noticed missing until more than a week later. No complications or unusual circumstances were found to lead to his death. Due to his extensive gun collection, the ATF and FBI were notified to collect his weapons. SCP-127 was discovered during testing and cataloging, and was promptly collected by SCP agents. Addendum Reclassified as safe Blank 1990 Blank 